We end tonight with a story of heroism and sacrifice that might never have been recognized if a grandson hadn't taken up the cause. Here's Elaine Quijano. In the fight against Hitler's forces during World War II, thousands of U.S. planes were shot down as they carried out bombing runs over Germany. Lieutenant Colonel James Mizaraka's B-24 bomber was among them. It was heavily damaged but landed in neutral Switzerland. Mizaraka and his fellow crew members were detained by the Swiss and held in a stripped-down hotel until the day he tried to escape, was caught and sent to a military prison camp as punishment. The camp was run by a Nazi sympathizer. What was he like? He was not a nice man. This man had no heart. Every day all I could think of was escape. He spent 31 days there, starving and freezing, until he tried escaping again and made it to safety. His lesson to others from that experience? Never give up. 1,500 other U.S. airmen ended up in Switzerland. Over 160 were sent to that prison camp for attempting escape, including the grandfather of Army Major Dwight Mears. That's my grandfather right there. Mears discovered that during the war, there were rumors U.S. airmen held in Switzerland were cowards who had landed there to avoid fighting. Some of them simply assumed that these airmen had reached the breaking point and had decided that faced with near death, they would just rather sit out the war in the neutral country and learn to ski or something. Mears spent the next 15 years documenting that their treatment was equal to POWs in Nazi Germany. He also petitioned military leaders trying to set the record straight. At first, at the very beginning, this was about my grandfather, but as I started interviewing other airmen, I came to identify with them, and um, I felt that they were worthy of recognition. The Air Force finally agreed. They recently approved the airmen's applications for POW medals. Recognition their actions were honorable. Mizaraka is one of 12 still alive. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, India Atlantic, Florida.